Three shootings early Sunday morning prompt a citywide curfew in West Point, and those behind the shootings are still on the run tonight. WCBI's Bobby Martinez spent the day in West Point. He joins us in the studio tonight with the goal behind the curfew and what people there can expect. Bobby. That is right, Andrea. Chief Cook tells me these shootings are all related, and he says he is hoping that this curfew will be a stepping stone in helping them arrest the ones responsible for these shootings. The old saying, actions speak louder than words, has come to fruition in West Point. In our effort to uh, get this under control, I asked the board where they worked with me for a curfew for 30 days, and that curfew I asked for was from 12 midnight to 5 a.m. in the morning. It has been a long and busy week for the West Point Police Department. Three shootings early Sunday morning at three different homes, all in different locations, has police continuing to search for answers. We're still in the investigation stage of that, and we don't have several people of interest that we're going to talk to, and we're getting information on those uh, conversations that we had, and possibly soon we'll be hopefully we're making an arrest on that. And with less traffic on the road throughout the night, West Point Mayor Robbie Robinson says this curfew will make officers' jobs much easier. It sure would help police if there are any unauthorized traffic around town at that hour. They, they can make stops. Uh, they're not going to harass our local people who are working there. I know there are people who have jobs that uh, they have to go to work after midnight, or they may be coming home after midnight, but uh, they'll be safe. They'll be fine. And that is right. This curfew will be in effect for the next 30 days. And if you have more information on the shooting, contact West Point Police and Golden Triumph Crime Stoppers.